Hey Magic fans, it's Paul from the Orlando Magic UK continuing our look ahead of the 2023-2024 NBA season at all 30 teams. This one we're focusing on the Toronto Raptors who last season, it wasn't a particularly awful season for them, reaching 500 um, with a 41-41 record and so they finished 10th in the East. Toronto missed out on the playoffs completely after losing a 9-10 playing game um, on the road against the Chicago Bulls 109-105. Um, that saw Nick Nurse uh, exit the team um, as head coach. Truth be told, under his stewardship, they have never come close again to the crown achievement with the club uh, becoming the NBA champions in the 2018-2019 season. So the new new season, therefore, is the is beginning of a new chapter, uh, and this team are desperate to taste the heights again. Uh, Summer saw a new coach brought in, Darko Ryakovic, um, and they've also re-signed, importantly, Jakob Pertl. Uh, remaining as the team's leaders, OG Ananobi, Pascal Siakam, Scotty Barnes. Depth and further continuity is, con is by... Malachi Flynn being there, Gary Trent Jr., Chris Boucher, and obviously Precious Achawa. Um, key additions, they brought in uh, somebody that a lot of Magic fans really fancied as being our pick in the draft. At number 13, they selected Grady Dick, uh, and very, very importantly, from free agency, um, Dennis Schroeder, who was fresh off of leading Germany to the FIBA World Cup title. Uh, they've also picked up Jalen McDaniels. Um, notable subtractions. It pretty much starts and finishes with Fred Van Vliet, um, who got paid um, by the Houston Rockets. Will Barton and Delano, Delano Barton have also moved on. So you're kind of looking with Toronto as this being a season where they... Some see, some see them being a threat... Others, it's a it's a rebuilding, but with the starting five potentially of Dennis Schroeder, OJ Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, and Jakob Pertl, you're talking a strong team. And then you look at the bench with the strength that they have, they could still have some noise to make in the East. It's going to be another interesting one. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a quick thumbs up and go magic.